Tak boleh. Saya tak keluar. Ya cak aku pun kelas kot eh. Set. Hello, Assalamualaikum Okay, Assalamualaikum This is our first class For MC351 uh, October 20 to February 21 Okay, uh, I would like to congratulate you. Uh, you are one of the, my first students who are going to use fa uh, YouTube Live, and if everything is okay, we are going to use these features for this entire semester. Okay, maybe someone of you maybe uh, already know about me. I'm Hazibi Ismail. I'm your lecturer for MEC three five one. Uh, refrigeration and air conditioning okay for today we, we are going to brief a little bit about our subject okay uh, all the materials have been provided in the Google classroom you can download it or you can view directly from the Google classroom okay how to join the Google classroom I have already sent you the see uh, the link and you just can you just click the link uh, in our uh, whatsapp group this one okay and it will re redirect you to the google classroom and all the materials can be found in classwork menu just click the classwork menu and all the list of materials are listed in this page which is we have attendance form course info notes and maybe we can discuss or you can ask me question and I will try to answer the question in this section and the I assignment also will be posted in here for your future references okay uh, first of all we are going to view the course outlines of MEC 351 just click and it will open the PDF file Okay. Okay, everyone's clear. Kau ada masalah tak nampak live ke? Boleh uh, kita YouTube live chat kat tepi ni. Okay, I assume everything is okay lah. Okay, this is my lesson plan and course outline for MEC 351 uh, As mentioned uh, In this, uh, this PDF file My name is Hazmi Bismail And this is my phone number You can 
WhatsApp me through this number and this is my email. Okay, MEC Strap 5 Fund is 3 hours credit unit. So the results may be impactful if you didn't get A or B. Uh, average, most of the students can get B and above. Lah. Uh, and for the contact hour, if we have face to face class, we should uh, have two hours lecture and two hours practical. But because of the semester, we have ODL class. All the practical and lecture session will be conducted in ODL through ODL. ODL Open Distance Learning. Okay. Uh, this subject uh, doesn't have prerequisite subject, and this is non-core. It is elective for the pure mechanical students. Okay. Course description. You can read it by your own self. I don't want to read it for you. This is just a little bit about the air conditioning and refrigeration course okay but i want to emphasize on the outcomes the outcomes are the most important things of the subjects because at the end of the semester what you have to know what you have to get from this subject okay we have three course outcomes uh, the first one is to apply apply theoretical aspect of thermodynamic system which is uh, this subject is mostly related to the subject MC MEC 251 thermodynamics. Uh, if you didn't pass the MEC 251, you may be a little hard to adapt this subject. Okay, and the second one we have demonstrate practical aspect of refrigeration and air conditioning and apply them accordingly. Okay, actually, the second cost outcome is more related to the practical and laboratory works um, for this semester we have ODL so we don't have physical uh, laboratory experiments what we are going to do is we use the video of the experiments and you just study the video and do the lab report okay and the final one of our course outcomes is the design the system based on theoretical and practical aspects. So uh, we cover up all the course outcome one and two, and we get the course outcome three. Okay, to get the CO three course outcome three, you are going to do the assignment and mini project. Because mini project cover up all the aspects of our subject cover all the topics cover all the chapters of our MEC 351 okay uh, a little break here if any problems you found for the life or you didn't you do not uh, hear my voice please state at live comment live chat Okay, was chatting okay, clear sir? So okay, I'll continue our session. Uh, we go back to the course outcome. Okay, now I would like to explain about assessments. We have 100% coursework assessment, 25% for quiz, 25% for assignment, and 50% for laboratory. A mini project uh, contribute to 45%, which is 25% comes from the report and 10% comes from the presentation. Okay, uh, during the last semester, the presentation is conducted uh, using the YouTube video. Students or group uh, should upload their own group videos to the YouTube and I uh, will assess through that video for the presentation assessment and the report you are going to do the technical report based on the mini project and submit grouply to me so for the 5 35% come from the mini project which is quite big and quite uh, a good for you because I uh, mean project and presentation I'm uh, quite quite lenient la. look to give you a better marks and for the quiz uh, 
maybe this semester we are going to use uh, or to do the live quiz because during the last semester I give I give them open book quiz and most of them score too high compared to the previous semester so maybe in this semester I will try to give it more harder skip I don't want all the students get most uh, high com high complete complete full uh, marks for the quiz okay so that's all for the assessment and we go through to the chapter list okay we have five pa uh, chapters the first one is refrigeration uh, week one week two week three week four and at week four we are going to study about chap second chapter psychometry of air conditioning process okay and you have mid semester break after semester break we continue with chapter two chap until eight weeks okay after eight weeks we are going to have quiz one which is contribute to 25 percent the quiz one will cover the chapter one and chapter two so be prepared before the week 10 i will give you the quiz one or quiz one slash test one quiz one is equivalent to equivalent to test one okay uh, then after the quiz one you are going to study the chapter three air conditioning system and equipment uh, here if you see the first one chapter one and chapter two is about the psychrometric and refrigeration process but after chapter three chapter three is about the air conditioning system refrigeration is the basic system in the air, condi air conditioning system and the air conditioning system is the more complicated system uh, there is apply for our real life uh, as an example we have split unit centralized icon and so on and so on so at chapter 3 you will, uh, we will study about the system of air conditioning system and the chapter 4 we will have the cooling load estimation this one is more on the practical calculations uh, chapter because this is how you to uh, calculate cooling load and from the cooling load you will have the results to decide which system you are going to use in the building as an example if you have 10,000 BTU per hour uh, then we will decide which icon is going to be chosen based on 10,000 BTU so, so don't worry this is just the brief about the chapter 4 Okay, and the final chapter is chapter 5, Air Distribution System. Uh, this one is about the design, how to design the ducting system in our building. If we choose the system in the building, it's going to be the centralized icon. So, we must have designed the air ducting system how to design a ducting system will be taught in the chapter 5 so don't worry this MEC351 just have 5 chapters easy peasy and fun and after 13 weeks so we have to submit not we you you have to submit the assignment mini project report and mini project presentation okay for your information our assignment is very highly closely related to our mini project so i will put the assignment instruction and mini project instruction in the google classroom you have to download it and try to do the assignment first because this one is a long semester words not a two three words two three week words it is a long entire semester work which is you have to start do the assignment from the first and second 
Oui. OK? So, after that, you have revision week and bye-bye. Wait for the results. If everything's okay, maybe most of you get A. OK? Okay, that's all for our lesson plan. If you have any question or any problem, you can ask me in the WhatsApp group or maybe you can post it in the comment section in the YouTube. I will try to answer as possible. Okay, satu group berapa orang sir? Okay, uh, one group must not more than 5%. So maximum is 5%. Okay, any other question? Okay, if everything is okay, I will continue to the briefing about our Google Classroom. Okay. In your Google Classroom, this is your official medium of learning. I will put all the materials, I will put all the instructions, I will put all the announcements in this Google Classroom. So make sure you check it out every week, every day every time you can do okay and for every class we are going to use the attendance form to collect your attendance data okay attendance form can be found in the classwork here and in the attendance section here just click the attendance form and submit your information okay let's say i put the test 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 student id 2000 2000 okay course choose it accordingly because this form is you use is used for all my classes mc351 and mem341 so make sure you choose accordingly mc351 for this subject and i have a question here what did you learn today because i want to know which one of you is just open the youtube and leave it and go to the other things you have to do i don't want that i want you to be here be in front of your computer be in front of the your handphone screen and listen carefully because our life class is just a replacement to our physical class so everything what you have to do in the physical class you must do in our life class what you are what what you have to do as a student uh. okay so if the answer is very very out of topic so i consider that student is not coming to the class okay so for today, what did you learn today? I learned about lesson plan, course outline, and how to use Google Classroom. That's it. And submit. Okay. Okay, that's all for the attendance form. Okay. <laughs> uh Oh, we already 20 minutes in uh, live streaming. 
So if you don't have any other question, we can end our session today right now. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, we are going to start our lecture class in the next section. So be prepared, download all the notes and read a little bit about the notes uh, because okay thank you thank you okay thank you sir so you means that we have to end our session right now okay thank you uh, until till our next video our live uh, session live lectures that's all thank you assalamualaikum and bye bye